ConstructsOnChucks.com, Ryan the Winer Noble, Nostalgia. Uh, this episode, installment, uh, is titled Don't Lose Your Cockatiel. Um, this takes place in Rosemead's Landing. Uh, it's just a small town just off of a Rice Lake in Ontario. Not far from Cobra, it's probably about maybe half an hour drive. Um, I was living with my uh, friend Tim at the time. Um, I moved out from uh, my parents' place and I uh, decided to stay with friends um, so I could go to school in Coburg. Um, and uh, very nice family, they were excellent with me. Um, very nice, I still talk to all of them whenever I get the chance and very close still. Um, anyways, they, there was one kind of a catch, I guess, at the place. Um, there was a cockatiel there that kind of was in charge of things, I guess. Um, top priority there. Uh, there was three boys living there at the time, and they definitely, um, the bird was running the show over there. Anyways, uh, the mother loved the bird. It was, it was her cockatiel. I don't remember the name of the bird, which I guess is for the best now. Um, anyways, uh, I remember one day me and Tim didn't go, uh, actually it might have been summer, summer holidays. Um, and uh, we, we were at home. Uh, I don't remember what we were doing. Uh, but her, his mom liked it when we'd let the bird out of the cage, so it could fly around the house and, you know, crap, do, end up crashing to you and be annoying and do stuff the birds do. Uh, anyways, one day, so we, we let the bird out of the cage and it was on the floor hopping around and we were looking around for it and we found it and we didn't realize that, I can't remember if it was Tim or me, that was, I think it was Tim because I think he was actually by the door. So we saw the, the, the bird and it was hopping towards the, the open front door. Um, so at first we kind of started laughing because we were just joking about the possibility of actually losing the bird. The bird never showed interest in, in going outside ever. Anyways, uh, this time the bird decided to go towards the door directly. We tried to get over to it quickly without scaring the bird, causing it to possibly fly out, but it didn't make a difference. The, the bird was gone. So um, anyways, uh, <laughs> once again we started laughing. We knew how much trouble we were going to be in. His mom was going to kill us. And then we were thinking about the possibilities of going and getting this bird. And, you know, it didn't seem realistic. And as we looked at it, there was a big field outside of Tim's place. Like I said, it was just on the lake. So there was a nice forest all around it. Nice area if you've never been there. Um, anyways, this massive bird, I don't even know what it was, comes, swoops down, scoops the bird out of the air, takes off. It was not pretty when she got home. She was very, very very upset. Um, I, I'm sure Tim got in the most trouble, uh, but it was, it was not pretty. Uh, and I felt, I felt, it was a bad feeling, but it was, at the same time, one of the funniest things I've seen in my life was that bird getting scooped out of the air. Um, so, there's probably no moral here. Uh, don't let me watch your bird. That's it. Thank you.